Have you ever wondered what the largest bears looked like? How strong were they? These bears weren't your average ursine predators. We're talking about creatures that dwarfed modern grizzlies and polar bears in size and strength. Through paleontological research, we can reconstruct their anatomy, understand their adaptations, and uncover their hunting strategies. Roaming the diverse landscapes of Africa millions of years ago, the Agritherium africanum was a bear species that held its own amongst the megafauna of the Pleistocene epoch. While not the largest bear to ever walk the earth, it possessed unique adaptations and impressive strength, leaving behind a fascinating fossil record. Standing roughly 2.5 meters, 8.2 feet long, and weighing up to 600 kilograms, 1,320 pounds, the Agritherium africanum had a stocky build and powerful limbs that hinted at its formidable strength. Unlike the plantigrade stance, flat-footed of modern bears, it likely walked on its toes like a dog. Its most striking feature was its skull. Unlike the rounded faces of modern bears, the Agritherium africanum had a flattened dog-like skull with powerful jaw muscles. These powerful jaws housed specialized teeth unlike any living bear. This unique dental equipment earned it the nickname Sour Beast, highlighting its potential diet of scavenged carcasses and bones. While fossils of the Agritherium africanum have been found across sub-Saharan Africa, with particularly rich sites in South Africa and Kenya, its exact geographic range remains debated. So, what made this bear so powerful? Well, several factors contributed to its success. The aforementioned tough build and dog-like posture likely provided agility and endurance, allowing it to cover vast distances while hunting or scavenging. The powerful jaws and specialized teeth were a game-changer, enabling it to access nutritious bone marrow and potentially hunt large prey, even scavenging carcasses from bigger predators. Despite its impressive adaptations, the Agritherium africanum eventually vanished around 2.5 million years ago. The exact reasons for its extinction remain unclear, but climate change, competition with other predators, and human arrival are all potential contributing factors. Standing tall in the Atlas Mountains, the Atlas bear, Ursus arctos crowtheri, reigned as the sole native bear species in North Africa until its unfortunate extinction in the late 19th century. Unlike its massive cousins like the short-faced bear, the Atlas bear had a more moderate size, reaching around 2.7 meters, 8.8 .8 feet in length, and weighing up to 450 kilograms, 992 pounds. Its hefty build and thick fur, ranging from brownish black to reddish brown on the underparts, helped it withstand the colder mountain temperatures. Interestingly, it lacked the white muzzle patch seen in many other bear species. While it shared the omnivorous tendencies of most bears, the Atlas bear likely specialized in a largely herbivorous diet. Acorns, nuts, and roots formed the bulk of its menu, supplemented by occasional insects and small mammals. Unlike other climbing bears, its shorter claws and muzzle suggest it wasn't adept at scaling trees, possibly foraging primarily on the ground or digging for roots. What made the Atlas bear truly powerful was its resilience and adaptability. It thrived in the diverse habitats of the Atlas Mountains, from dense forests to rocky slopes, navigating the challenging terrain with ease. Its strength would have allowed it to defend itself against potential predators like prehistoric lions and leopards, making it a dominant force in its environment. Sadly, this reign came to an end due to the combination of factors. Human expansion and hunting pressure played a significant role in their decline. Their inability to effectively escape hunters in the open mountain terrain made them easy targets. Towering up to three meters, 9.8 feet tall on its hind legs, and weighing close to 1,000 kilograms, 2,200 pounds, the cave bear, Ursus spalaeus, was truly massive. Its solid build was covered in dense fur, likely ranging from brown to reddish brown, protecting it from the harsh glacial climate. Unlike modern cave-dwelling bears like the brown bear, which use caves primarily for hibernation, 
The cave bear spent a significant portion of its life within these subterranean networks. Its impressive size wasn't its only claim to fame. The cave bear possessed powerful jaws and large, crushing premolars, suggesting a predominantly herbivorous diet. While its sheer size would have deterred most predators, the cave bear wasn't without its challenges. Competition for food resources from mammoths and other herbivores was likely fierce. That's exactly what made this bear species so powerful. Its relentless drive for survival was unmatched in the animal kingdom. Despite all the environmental pressures, during a ruthless time period, the cave bear thrived for over 150,000 years. However, around 24,000 years ago, they met their demise. The exact cause of their extinction remains debated, but a combination of factors like climate change, habitat loss, and competition are likely culprits. The name King Polar Bear might evoke images of a mythical, oversized ruler of the Arctic wastes. However, it refers to a specific extinct subspecies of polar bear, known as Ursus maritimus tyrannus. While the king nickname isn't actually rooted in historical documentation, it very accurately reflects the impressive size and adaptations this bear possessed compared to its modern cousin. Standing tall at an estimated 4 meters, 13 feet long, and weighing up to 600 kilograms, 1,320 pounds, the king polar bear easily dwarfed the average polar bear of today. This larger stature provided several advantages and made it extremely powerful. It could tackle bigger prey like seals and walruses with ease, and its larger size likely helped it thrive in the harsh Arctic environment. Additionally, its skull housed powerful jaws and specialized teeth for crushing bone and efficiently consuming meat. This would have been vital for an apex predator dominating its icy domain. Beyond its size and strength, the Ursus maritimus tyrannus likely possessed specific adaptations for its frigid habitat. Research suggests it may have had thicker fur for insulation and wider pores for better traction on icy surfaces. Unfortunately, despite its reign as a formidable predator, the king polar bear vanished around 11,500 years ago. The giant short-faced bear, scientifically known as Arctodus simus, was one of the most formidable predators to have ever roamed North America during the Pleistocene Epoch, approximately 1.8 million to 11,000 years ago. It earned its name from its distinctive short muzzle compared to other bear species, but its size and power were truly what set it apart. Arctodus simus stood out for its immense size, towering over even the largest modern bears. Estimates suggest it could reach heights of up to 3.7 meters, 12 feet when standing on its hind legs, and it weighed anywhere from 450 to 680 kilograms, 1,000 to 1,500 pounds. This sheer bulk made it one of the largest terrestrial carnivores of its time. What made the giant short-faced bear truly terrifying amongst its modern relatives was its extraordinary adaptation for speed and agility. Despite its massive size, it had long, powerful limbs and a relatively lightweight build, which enabled it to cover vast distances quickly. This adaptation likely made it an incredibly efficient predator, capable of chasing down swift prey across open grasslands or wooded areas. The most distinctive feature of Arctodus simus was its shortened face, which gave it a unique appearance compared to other bears. However, this shortened muzzle also meant that it may have lacked the powerful bite force of its modern relatives, relying instead on its speed and agility to catch prey. Despite its impressive stature and formidable hunting capabilities, the giant short-faced bear eventually faced extinction at the end of the Pleistocene Epoch. Arctotherium angustetans, commonly known as the South American giant short-faced bear, was a colossal bear species that once roamed the grasslands and forests of South America during the Pleistocene Epoch, approximately 2.5 million to 11,000 years ago. As one of the largest land carnivores to have ever existed, Arctotherium angustetans commanded respect and fear in its ancient habitat. At heights exceeding 3.4 meters, 
11 feet and weight surpassing 1,600 kilograms, 3,500 pounds, this bear rivaled its North American counterpart, the Arctodus simus, in sheer size and power. Its robust build and muscular limbs made it a formidable predator, capable of dominating the landscape and preying upon a wide range of animals, including large herbivores like giant ground sloths and other megafauna. What distinguished Arctotherium angustidens from other bears, and indeed most other carnivores of its time, was its surprisingly short muzzle and elongated limbs. This unique anatomical adaptation, combined with its massive size, suggests a specialization towards a scavenging or omnivorous diet, allowing it to exploit a variety of food sources across its vast range. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. Also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.